Next, we will create a logo of Shell gas station. First, we need to delete we need to delete objects from our previous assignment. Delete layer libraries, layer logo, and layer pig. But we will keep layer name. Unlock it and change assignment name from a libraries to shell. Then save as shell dot AI save as shell dot AI create a new layer and rename layer 2 as pick put an original shell logo into this document go to file place select logo of shell gas station click place and click place then expand it to fit the area don't forget to hold shift and also the alternate key to expand it from the center okay uh, this is the size that we'd like it to be no worry about this exceeding area just focus on the logo only next next we uh, before we start drawing we have to notice that uh, this logo is a bit slant and we need to adjust it before we start drawing to be more accurate we need more than just our bare eyes and the feeling rulers, rulers can help us better go to window show rulers and you will get rulers on vertical and horizontal we need a guiding line so just put the cursor over a ruler then click and drag a line to the base of logo you can see how it slant So we have to adjust it with a rotate tool. Slightly rotate. Um, you have to select the object. Slightly rotate until the logo is parallel to the guiding line. Then lock layer pick and also the layer name. Create a new layer for our for our drawing and name the layer as logo as you can see the logo can be drawn as a free from sometimes we might use ellipse tool for the circle part and use pen tool for the others but today this drill will focus on using pen tool. So let's try doing it together. In the third layer, we will use pen tool. First, we will start from drawing a straight line and anchor point. When we create an anchor point with pen tool, start from the tip of a curve or the tip of an angle. For this logo shell, we will start with a click on the middle spot of the upper outline, not the bottom edge or the top edge of the red outline. You must click at the middle of the red outline. We have got the tip of the curve, then create another anchor point. Repeat, the, repeat this until you get enough anchor point and don't forget to see this image by clicking at the starting point. It will look like a house but don't worry, uh, we can adjust this to a shape, shape letter. Switch from pen tool to, anchor con, uh, to a convert anchor point to hold the uh, button a bit click on the 
anchor point and drag it out. Don't forget to hold the shift key as well to make a proportionate change on both sides. It's almost what we want. Still, we notice some distortion here. No worry, we can pull the left line to make it appear parallel with the other side. These two handles control curve. The upper handle controls the upper part and the lower handle controls the lower part. If we don't want any curve, we simply pull this handle back to the anchor point. It will become a pointed angle again. Repeat this for the other si uh, sorry, repeat this for the other side and we will get a nice chill. Set up fill as transparent and give the stroke as red color. A real red color is at R2 R255 five, five. Oops, I think I uh, forgot to select the object Okay, I will do it again Select the object and set the stroke color as red Then we will increase its weight or its thickness Make it almost the same weight as the originals I have to adjust mine to about 37 points. I think we better check with the original logo. Well, I think our replica looks very similar to the original now. Go back to the layer, uh, go back to the layer logo and continue drawing. What we will, what we will, what we will do next is drawing a pattern over the shell with pen tool. You should start with a click at the tip to create a slim triangle. I, I, I forgot to adjust the stroke weight. Well, set it as one point and draw a rectangle. Make it go through and exit to uh, exit the outline of the child. Make, make it longer than the outline. Set up the field of this line as red and no color for the stroke. Check with the original again by closing the eye icon on the layer pick. While you are drawing, you need to compare your replica with the original quite often. Repeat this to create other strips. I may be too rough or too quick. That's because I want to make this clip as short as possible. But you need to be more careful and neat when you uh, draw your own logo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Check with the original again. Well, it's pretty close now. Next, we will add two small curves or two small circles on the button of the shell logo. I think we can use ellipse tool here. Go back to layer logo and draw a small oval. Don't forget to hold alternate so it will expand from center. Set the color to be the same as the color you use for the outline. For another oval, it m must be yellow. We will use the very yellow at R255, G255 and B0. This is now uh, so yellow. We are almost done with our replica, but we still need to fix with uh, the white, white area of the shell. 
make it yellow like the original. We can do this easily by create a yellow area and set it to the back of shell red outline. Just create a yellow area. Yes, that's it. <coughs> and don't forget to close the shape and click the object again. Right click and send it to back right click send it to back we are done now don't forget to save this document